Shocking truth? You've been measuring things your whole life, but HTML does it too. Ever wondered how your images know how big they should appear on a web page? Think of it like buying a picture frame. You must know the width and height first. HTML works exactly the same. That's where the width and height attributes come in. Their values use pixels, tiny units of measurement, the same way a tailor uses inches or centimeters to measure your clothes. Pixels are just the web's version of those measurements. And you don't need to write PX at the end. HTML already treats numbers as pixels by default. For example, maybe the size of this cat picture is way too big. But with the width and height attributes, I can instantly reduce its size by decreasing the values. And if I want it bigger, I simply increase them. These attributes accept two types of values, a number and auto. I've explained the number, but auto? That's in my next video. But here's the twist. These attributes aren't only for the IMG tag. You'll find out everywhere they're used in my future videos. And just so you know, width and height attributes are mainly for beginners. Pros use CSS for styling. But since we're learning HTML basics right now, this is perfect for you. And if you want to learn web development using just your smartphone, make sure you subscribe or follow so you don't miss the next lesson.